Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Robocop Rogue City where we still have to take on a couple of bad boys and no, it is all guys I want to say bad boys and girls but no, only boys oh boy, my shooting today Oh, on the other hand, do I ever have good shooting? I don't know. Wouldn't say so. Okay, ah, okay. It is just, just for grabbing the shell. I was hoping for experience points, the usual. Ah, okay. I've already been here, right? Yep. We've been here in the last episode. Yep, yep, yep. yep. I do remember. Yep, and this can be opened up too. Let's see. I think we can find skill points there. Open the door or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case... Shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! One of you is not a real Torchhead, but just an imitator. I knew there was something off about you! Me? It's you! I always suspected you never went through initiation! Take that back! Or what? Shit! You hot-headed bastards! For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! Tell me, where can I find soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff, and to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? A reduced, yep. Uh... Yeah, a shortened sentence. You get your sentence reduced if you cooperate. Yeah, but if word gets to Soot, he won't do business with me again. Once I am done with him, he will not be doing business with anyone. <laughs> That's a good point. I think we've got a deal. They've taken him to the ghost house. It's what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice for now. All right. Return to the streets. We will do that. Okay, engineering level 6 required for that. Installation invoice. Thank you for choosing security invasion CO. Okay, desk button, armored gate and the installation total 2982. Um... Dolores, dollars actually, and there is the cable. And then press the button. No stone unturned. Stay here. Dispatch, requesting a squad car. All right, I'd buy that for a dollar. Neat, so that means we have skill points, we got experience, so everything of that is good and positive. That means we can now return to the streets and hopefully then we will complete this quest, get our experience for that quest. And then crack on with the main... Was this the main mission? And then crack on with the next one, right? Okay, good. Every episode something good done. That feels oh so 
amazing, I have to admit. Alright, locate. This is Reed. Mayor Kuzak just stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000, registered to Melissa Kuzak. See, if you have money and you are important, the quests or the missions or the inquiries are for the police important. It's cute. Don't know if that actually would be possible, but I guess if you know the head of police, that might be possible. Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name, but I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently. But I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like, but can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? Hmm. I can come back with a warrant, but then I will not be knocking. You think that's going to scare me? This is Detroit, for God's sake. People try to threaten me nearly every day. I do not try. You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. Alright, why did you not do that from the beginning, buddy? Okay, deduction level 2. Let's actually, that's something I wanted to do anyways right deduction oh wait okay we can reset on the other hand anyways right yes now text record new clue obtained good there's two it and the good thing is we that gives us more experience points on the other hand too, right? Now, if we... Wait, what I wanted to take a look here... Enhanced scanning. First of all, 10 more experience from notes. Okay, that's actually neat. Although there's a lot of stuff we can do, right? Before we talk to him again... In irrelevant, that's gonna be irrelevant. Engineering, okay, that could have been good too. Anything up here? Now, uh, he did it again. Ben, I'm off tomorrow, but this can't wait. I think Scott's at it again. You want to help that boy like you helped me and the others. I get it, but I'm still on parole. I can't be involved in any illegal stuff and Scott doesn't care about that. I saw him hiding some things in his locker. He looked over, he looked over his shoulder about a hundred times like when he was, like when he was stashing the stolen radios there. You better check it out or me, uh, or we might get in trouble. Jay? Anything else? Anything there? Where's this locker? Okay, let's have a chat here. Confront him. Confront Ben. See, I've told you, you'll find Jack all. Because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. 63% of your repair invoices have not been accounted for. You've gone over my books? I thought you came here looking for the car thief. Looks like there is more than just one thief to be caught. Oh, come on. This is how everyone operates in this godforsaken city. Cut me some slack, will you? Okay, you win. So there's this boy, Scott. He works for me on and off. 
He might have something to do with the missing car. Let me open his locker for you. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being, where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning, when two thugs swung by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Why did you cover for him? I can't watch a decent kid like him get swallowed by this city. Don't look at me like that. Instead of giving him up, I was encouraging him to come clean. But a man can only try. Is he a temporary worker? You could say that. We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not okay with it. And you let him come back? It's hard to make an honest living these days. That's why I understand his struggle, and I let him come back. Working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not easy to find such a good mechanic either. Yeah, I do understand both why you think he is responsible. options. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it. But nearly every month, he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life. And where there's smoke, there's usually fire. Okay. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright. It is not enough. I'm not a cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That is all for now. Hey, make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done some foolish things in the past, but he's a good kid and he deserves another chance. A court of law will be the judge of that. All right. Find his whereabouts, will do. It's only 50 meters away. If I would go in the right direction, that would be just around the corner, right? It would actually be nice. I'd, I'm, I mean, yes, in, it's in every game, it's just, you know, you're faster with a mount. But in every game where I do not have a mount, I am wishing for a mount. That is so weird, right? Anyways, see how quickly we get there. That's cool, right? Are there any drugs? No. Good for him. Oh god. I messed up good. You must be Scott. What did you do with the blue SUX6000 that you stole? Hey, well, why would I have anything to do with that? I have found evidence in Ben's shop. You can't possibly help me. I don't want to cause any more trouble, especially for Ben. Admitting to a crime is the best course of action for any young offender. I can't go to Juvie. Who's going to fix this mess? My duty is to serve the public trust. Okay, okay. I admit. It was me who jacked the SUX. But he didn't leave me any choice. Who is he? I can't tell you. If he knew I gave him away, he'd take revenge on Ben. Oh God, it must be those thugs. We're dead. No one is going to save us. If they are criminals, then they are the ones who need saving. Hello? Anybody home? Where are you, Scotty boy? You oh, shit. It's the metal. <laughs> <laughs> What is... Oh, hello. Bro object. That's actually kind of funny. Well, that is eliminate the threats. Throwing... That he was... That said that he's an object, right? Alright, that was all of them. 
you did it! They didn't think that through. Maybe you can put an end to this after all. I am missing vital information in order to resolve this case. I'll tell you what you want. Just please, help me fix this screw-up. Where is the car now? Oh man, I'm sure it's still in their chop shop. It's a warehouse on the northeast side. The entrance is concealed, but I'm sure you'll find it. I'm no fighter, but if there is any other way, I would like to help. Maybe you need some more intel. Who did you mean by him? It's Rex, from the local gang. I only did petty jobs for him mostly, but this time he made me steal that car. He said he wanted the SUX 6000 we were repairing at Ben's. When I said it was too hot, he slashed me with his knife. Why were you hiding? You saw those thugs. They were looking for me. They realized I tricked them. They wanted the SUX 6000 from Ben's shop, but I didn't want to get him into trouble, so I stole a different one. I doubt anyone would have given a shit, but word on the street is that it belongs to the mayor's niece. Any criminal matters should be reported to the police. I know. I just thought I could figure this out by myself. Ben was right from the start. I shouldn't have gone down this road. That is all for now. Proceeding to the vehicle's estimated location. You are calling for backup, aren't you? Negative. Threat calculation minimal. All right, all right, all right. But guys, we are gonna do that in the next episode. For now, you know it. I really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully, I see you in the next episode. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay